Today's November 13, 2020. Kind of a weird situation here on this job. Um, I got a friend of mine that was, um, you know, in the union with me, and I knew the guy good and knew him for a lot of years, and he was married and. He had a nice house and, you know, a couple of towns over and he ended up getting divorced and uh, his wife ended up with the house and he put this uh, NTI direct vent boiler in his house. Anyway, she'd been using me to service the burner for, for a lot of years. Actually, I was servicing the burner when he was around and uh, she called me for no heat. I've been servicing the burner for, I don't know, eight, nine years or whatnot. It's one of these NTI boilers. Direct vent, triple pass type of boiler with a real old burner on it. I've done videos on it before. But anyway, she called me no heat and went over there and, you know, um, thought it was off on safety and changed the, changed the nozzle. It's got, a, it's got a tiger loop on it and the thing wouldn't fire up up to find out was that the main operating control for this thing was was shit and uh, it's a weird main operating control you'll see it when I when I do a little video of it and it doesn't have a, it doesn't have a standard probe it's got a little a little uh, well where this little tiny probe goes in there so you got to go back with this original control for this thing so anyway I call them I call up my supplier to that used to sell the NTI and they're no longer selling them but they're still a dealer for them or whatnot and uh, I call, I try looking around online to try to get the slipping control like as soon as possible and nobody's got it you got to go through a dealer I call NTI directly oh no you got to go through a dealer because we don't sell directly so anyway well, I go to this this flipping guy that I that sold all these things years ago. This uh, supply house around my way, and uh, you know, give him the model and serial model and serial of the flipping boiler and all the information off the control, everything. And uh, I tell him I need this control. Like the city's got no heat, no hot water. I need it next day here. I tell him. I tell this flipping moron next day here. You know what that means? Next day here within a day or two days well seven days later I finally get the flipping control there you know I'm calling them every day about it where's my flipping pot guy you know a week seven days later they, they all the, the, the control finally came in and they both told me all this bullshit it was in it was uh, come from Canada oh it's it's been tied up with uh, you know on the border and all this shit come to find out they sent it all the way to flipping Georgia, and this this flipping guy is telling me it was in customs for the, this and that. Finally, get it seven days later, two days uh, next day here, guy. You know what that means? Next day here, not flipping seven days. But anyway, they sent me the wrong flipping control. It's like you sent me a smart control. I can get that down the street for 150 bucks. You know, send me the wrong control. So I I had to send them all kinds of pictures of this thing and. Um, so anyway, they found they found one in Foxborough and supposedly got it, and I, I'm going in now to do it. The lady hasn't had heat or hot water for, what, eight days now? Eight days. She's flipping out on me. I'm calling this fucking moron, telling him, what, what the hell's going on next day? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a week later. You sent me the wrong pot? What a bunch of flipping morons. So anyway... I'm kind of like right on this thing now. I feel bad for lady. I, but anyway, it's a little bit of a rant because I'm a little pissed off. I feel bad for the lady. I don't give a shit about the money. It's not about that. It's about this poor lady hasn't had heat or uh, hot water. So anyway, model and serial and the numbers off the control wasn't enough for NTI. I had to send them Philippine pictures. I had to send them pictures of the flipping pot that I need. All right, guys, here's the control in question. I gotta have it off, because it was flickering. I had 110 going into it, and nothing coming out. I jumped out this control. I jumped out this TT here from the... And it's got a... It's got a little probe on this thing that... 
Um, it's got a special thin well. I couldn't I couldn't put a regular control on it, but this is the one the control I have to change out. You see it flickering. MTI. It's real low, real low burner, so I gotta change that. Sorry for the rant. I just feel bad for this poor lady. This company sucks. Eight days. But next day, yeah, they send me the wrong flipping pot. NTI. Piece of shit. Eight, day, eight days. Yeah. I'm a little bullshit. I feel sorry for the lady. Big time. How you, that's how you lose customers with shit like this. He's flipping. Crazy. I'm sure my buddy that got divorced would be getting a kick out of this video, but I'm not. set right and everything all right put a new main operating control new nozzle clean burn ahead that was like seven days ago I put a new nozzle on it and stuff but that wasn't the issue that that main control was bad had power going in and uh, nothing coming out the thing was flashing and doing all kinds of funky shit I tried to jump out the TT that came from this control and it was still there was that there was that control that was bad NTI don't recommend them definitely definitely issues with getting parts for this thing junk flipping junk Show. You pissed off too? Welcome to the real world. So you want to be a plumber? <laughs> 